this has only been running for a few years. Uh, however, I think once we, we can broaden up to uh, a later stage, we can be able to go to other countries and have it there. Uh, because the intention really is not only about South Africa, but it's about Africa. And it's to make sure like other countries and other continents that what are doing, that we also have the same uh, situation in Africa where we can be able to, you know, to establish ourselves and define our direction and be, def be able to define our, our, our goals and definitions. And that's what we're trying to do. We, as a company, as ATNS, are very, very focused in making sure that we not only uh, develop aviation, but we develop business. We are a state-owned company. Uh, as you know, we run ATNS on business principles. Uh, we are in the uh, course right now of converting even our training academy to be an academic institution, not just a, a training academy for uh, ATCs and uh, engineers. Uh, but one of our core functions is to make sure that we support government on uh, alleviating poverty, unemployment, and uh, inequality. Until we get on the same table as Africa and start talking the same language so that we have one unified approach, then we will not go forward. So in the future, we have to look at it. And ICAO is coordinating to see how this can happen. We have to trans transition from the AIS to AIM. That's the way forward. If we remain in the AIS regime, we will never get the benefits of what we're looking for. ATNS is a state-owned company. It's basically owned by the people of South Africa. Uh, and uh, the government this year, whichever, it's, it's not a political issue. Uh, it's, it's an issue that the government this year decided that uh, this year is, Olo, is Oliver Tambo's celebration centenary. ATNS is a very, very important strategic role player within the sector uh, and TIA is an innovation enabler. So it's a natural relationship, it's a natural partnership for us to leverage off, to support each other, to bring about a collaborative view towards innovation within the aviation sector. So for us it's very important, it's strategic, it's key. Uh, I must confess though, I think we can do a lot more with the relationship. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day two of Avi, Avi Afrique African Innovation Summit. My name is Mapase Kamukwili and I will be your host for today. How can we increase our local content in terms of uh, high technology? And we have to understand this in terms of the fourth industrializ uh, industrialization, uh, the revolution that's happening at the moment, that's fast changing the way we live, the way we work, and the way we interact with one another. A bureaucracy, it is a problem. But the most scariest thing that I had this morning, and with due respect, Dr. Bilani, this youth that you're talking about is not remaining young forever. Um, we're having challenges on the African continent. And more and more, people keep saying, we have youth, we have youth. The youth that we're talking about is semi-youth because it's unemployed, it's, it's not active. What we have is, at the moment, our, the sort of primary 
focus of the biofuel program, if you like, is a crop called Solaris, a tobacco crop that we harvest oil from. And we take this oil and we produce a biofuel. The byproduct of this is that this crop has such a high protein content that we, we take this and turn it into an animal feed. And it's just been approved for use in chicken food. So what that does is it also allows us to not have to import as a country all the soy meal cake from overseas, sort of a million tons a year. We can now use this product in our local industry. Plus, we get to decouple from the global fuel market. We get to produce our fuel in rands. We don't have to buy dollars to buy oil. We don't have to import our currency to pay somebody else's or to line somebody else's pockets. We can now keep this all in-house in South Africa and in the region. Therefore, on behalf of uh, the ATNS board, our CEO, our executive team, our staff, we'd like to thank you and wish you all the best as you depart and uh, go your separate ways. Thank you.